Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we do reporting on tags. This was a question asked on my YouTube channel where the user wanted to create a report on the incident table based on the tags and he wanted to see the number of incidents associated with each and every tag. I have created a couple of videos on tags uh, where I have discussed about basics of tags and as well as the automation in tags. If you want to check out those videos as well, the link is on the top right corner and as well as in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. Now for creating this report, we will be referring to label underscore entry table where the association between the tags and a particular record in service now is stored. So in our case, it will be incident and tag. So I have already created that report on service now. Let's go and quickly see that. If you see this, uh, I have already created a report which is called tags reporting. The source type is table and the table name is label underscore entry. If you want to learn about basics of reporting, please click on the top right corner. I'll click on next and then I had selected the shape as donut. Then I'll click on next and here in the group by it was automatically selected as auto, but I changed it to label. So this label is the actual tag name, which is referring to the tags table or the label table. So you can see it's a reference field here on this table. So I'm grouping it by label and I have done aggregation through count because that was the requirement of the user. And then I have added another condition here where I'm filtering all the label targets as incident. So I have given a condition here label target is incident. If I go into this label entry table, you would see the label target is based on the table name. So in our case, it's incident for change. It would be change request for visual task boards. It will be visual task board card and so on. And that's the reason I have put this condition. After this, I have saved this report. And if I scroll down here, you would be able to see the tags which are associated with the incident table. So there are two incidents who have tags as now platform. So that's this one. And then there are three incidents which have the tags as demo Hardit three and now intelligence is one and high priority is two. Let's quickly go and verify these in the incident table as well. So I'm on the incident table. And here we can try searching for a specific label or the tag. I'll just put a condition here tags and maybe I will search for high priority. So there are two out of the box, I guess. And we can see there are two incidents 39 and 29, which are related to high priority tags. If we go back to our report and I will click on these high priority two, you would see the incidents ending with 29 and 39 are here. So this is how you can create a report on the label entry table and find out the incidents with the highest number of specific tags or maybe all the tags. If you want to further filter this out, you can do two things. You can either add another condition for label where you are trying to search for some specific tags. So you can put in here maybe label and then select the label whichever you are trying to search. For example, high priority again and you would be presented only with those tags. So in this case, we will get only two incidents. Otherwise, if I remove this, you can use the drill down reporting feature of service now, which is present here. If you see this little icon on the top right, and I also have a video on creating drill down reports where you click on any of these values and you will be drilled down to that specific table of your choice, maybe the incident table or some other table or maybe a drill down report. So that depends on your requirement. I hope this video was helpful for everyone who want to create reports on the tags table and filter out records with maximum tags or they want to count the number of tags. Please let me know in comments if you have further questions and thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.